Hey guys, Alex here. Have you ever felt like you can't get a bachelor degree? Education's not for you. That no matter what you do, you just can't seem to sit in class. You don't want to wait four or five years. You're impatient. You don't want to spend thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars on a bachelor degree and go in debt. Is that you? So I never had a bachelor degree until I was 33 years old. During the pandemic, I lost my job. It closed down and unfortunately I became unemployed. No degree, no job, very scary. So basically what I did is I figured out a way to get a college degree fast. So in case another pandemic happens, I can switch careers if I wanted to. I can dive right into something else. Um, so what I did is I figured out that there's something called ACE credits. Now, ACE credits, what are these? Study.com, straighterline.com, and sophia.org. These three websites, you can take college equivalent classes, and then you can transfer them into partner colleges. So some of the partner colleges, and the one I recommend is Western Governors University, which is a competency-based school. So this university will accept up to 90 credits of those ACE credits. So you basically go in, you do 90 credits from these study.com, straighter line, and all these ACE credit programs, and then you transfer them into a partner school. You do one semester, maybe two semesters at these partner schools, and then you finish. You can get a bachelor degree in a year if you truly wanted to. I did mine at Thomas Edison State University, although I did take some WGU courses. I took quite a few actually, but I, I finished at Thomas Edison, um, and I have a bachelor degree in computer science from that school. So I took many courses from study.com, many courses from straighter line. I will go over that in a different video, but I recommend study.com. It's an absolutely amazing platform. I believe it's $200 a month that gives you two classes and then three additional classes at $70 a pop, which is a pretty good deal. And then you can take both at the same time. If you want to get done really fast is what I did. I did straighter line and study.com at the same time. And I was just hammering out those courses like three days a course. If you don't have enough time, if you work full time, you can still hammer out these courses in seven to 10 days each. Just come home, do the course, get on top of it. You know, so I had a lot of time in my hands. I was able to do within a matter of six months, I was able to knock out well over 80 credits on all these ACE credit platforms. So I really recommend going to WGU and finding out what degree program you want. I recommend computer science. The reason I recommend that is it can lead to a software engineer job or some kind of engineering job that will lead to good income. The reason we go to school is to make money. Uh, the reason we go to school is to have a good living. So tech is booming. Tech pays quite well. So that is the avenue I recommend, right? So that is, I majored in computer science. I graduated, you know, it was not easy. You know, there were some pretty tough courses. There were times I wanted to pull my hair out. There were many classes that I felt it really overwhelmed, but as long as you stick with it, and you do a lot of these credits on these ACE credit platforms like study.com, you know, like straighter line, you can get this done. Now, like I said, I will have spreadsheets for you guys. Actually, uh, if you click down below, I have some spreadsheets that will help you. It, it shows you which class transfers into WGU, which class actually is the equivalent. So all you do is take this course and it shows you exactly what class will be the WGU equivalent. So you just follow this spreadsheet. You go sign up at study.com, straighterline.com. You sign up and you basically take these classes and they will transfer in exactly as this WGU class. Therefore, you only need to do one semester at WGU, depending on your uh, pace. You might have to do two semesters or three, but it depends on your pace. If you have a lot of time to dedicate and you're really motivated to knock out these courses, you can do one WGU semester if you only need to do 30 to 40 credits after all these ACE credits are done. So I recommend doing as much ACE credits as possible. The maximum on the list I recommend that you do. So open the spreadsheet. 
uh, WGU Computer Science, although there are a few down there. There are many degrees I like at WGU, so I really like the software engineering degree. I like the finance degree. Uh, I think the finance degree would be a great degree if you want to supplement a data analytics WG, uh, WGU master degree on top of it. So, but the computer science degree is a great standalone degree. It it can get you a job. You know, uh, the projects that come with the, de the degree, you can do some side projects to put on your resume as well. And just hammer leak code. A lot of people don't tell you that. They just say get a degree, apply for jobs. But there is something called leak code. This is what every employer uses. So I recommend once you do get this degree, you know, uh, don't worry about this now. You know, don't worry about this now. But once you do get a computer science degree, after that, go to leak code and just hammer out those leak code problems. You want to hammer out 50 to 150 problems and then you are job ready. You should be able to pass any tech interview. You just have to get the interview. So once you have the degree, you should be able to land some interviews. Um, just put your resume together really well. There are people online that can help with that. But going back to the degree, which this video is about, you really want to you know, go to those spreadsheets, see which courses will transfer in. Complete all those courses. The study.com courses are really simple. They are basically filled with about 100 quizzes. And you complete all those quizzes, you'll get 100% on those quizzes pretty fairly easily depending on the class. And then you take a final exam. And as long as you get about, I think, 70% on that final exam, then you should uh, pass the class. It's been a while since I've taken these courses, so they may have updated how they grade them. But that's how I remember, uh, that's how I remember how they were. Uh, they're pretty simple. I, I passed all of them on the first try. The only one that took me a second try was discrete math, which was a pretty difficult course on study.com. I felt like, I mean, data structures and algorithm was also a tough course. I do think I passed that on my first try barely. I think I got like a 71. Uh, so I barely passed that, but, uh, it's, uh, they have a lot of computer science courses you can take at study.com. And that's why I feel like take advantage of it. Like this is a thing like not a lot of people know about, you know, many, many people do not know that like you can take all these computer science major courses on study.com and take general education courses as well and knock out three quarters of a bachelor degree, literally three quarters of a bachelor degree you can knock out by taking these college equivalent courses. It's like a hack, a cheat code and take full advantage of it. I took advantage of it. I got my bachelor degree. I graduated in December, 2022. And, you know, it's one of my proudest accomplishments that I have accomplished. So I recommend that you guys, you know, take a look at the spreadsheet. You can actually, um, there's a link in the, the spreadsheet as well that you can get 35% off at study.com if you use the link in there as well. Um, so be aware of that. Uh, but yeah. I also, it shows you which courses on study.com I recommend and which courses on straighter line I recommend. So on straighter line, I actually think the math is easier and I would recommend using straighter line for calculus and algebra and things like that. So straighter line, maybe they have changed their policy, but last time I checked, they allow uh, a certain calculator on calculus. Um, but like I said, that may have changed. As for study.com, I don't believe they do. And then WGU, WGU definitely does not. So, you know, you definitely want to get your calculus done on the ACE credits. You don't want to do that at WGU. So all the tough classes you definitely want to get done at WG at uh, ACE credits. Like get the tough classes out of the way, you know, and then when you go to WGU, a lot of it will be, you know, easier courses or some of the required courses. So it'll save you a lot of time. You can get your degree done in one semester that way. I will also make more videos going over every degree, every degree program. So I will make a video for the computer science program and go over the entire spreadsheet with you guys. And I will go over which courses that I personally took that are hard. And I will go over which, um, which study.com courses are hard as well, which ones are easy, which ones you should take. I will go over the whole 
program and walk you guys through it. This video is just to explain that ACE credits, what they are, how to do them. Like I said, they're just like any kind of class, a college equipment class. You take a bunch of quizzes, you take a final exam that's proctored, you know, somebody will be watching you. Uh, except on study.com, nobody actually watches you. It's a recording and then they, they review it later. Uh, at least when I took study.com courses over a year ago, that's how it was. So, which I, I actually prefer that, you know, it's uh, much less invasive um, and you still, they're still uh, legitimate. So I, like I said, I like study.com the most. I actually never tried Sophia.org, so I cannot give a recommendation. The reason I do not recommend Sophia is if you don't like WGU for some reason, Thomas Edison is a great backup. Um, like I graduated from Thomas Edison because there were some courses at WGU that were giving me issues and I, Hey, Thomas Edison, I already have all the computer science majors, all the computer science courses that I need. And, uh, at Thomas Edison, I would only need like three or four more classes. So I transferred over and did that. I actually recommend though people finish at WGU unless you get stuck on a class that you cannot complete. So, um, but the thing is, Sophia does not have a partnership with Thomas Edison as far as I'm aware of. So that's why I recommend, I do recommend straighterline and study.com for that reason. Also, when it comes to certain classes as well, if you ever want to uh, use a backup school that's not WGU like Thomas Edison, some, some places will not accept uh, study.com's English class. So a lot of people don't know that. So I recommend doing the English class at Straighter Line to be safe. It's more versatile and you can transfer it to any partner school, whereas only certain schools will accept uh, study.com's English class. So just be aware of that. Uh, sorry guys, this is my first YouTube video, so I might be all over the place here. I'm, I'm trying to make more, but yeah, I just, I wanted to let you guys know that you can get a bachelor degree in one year. It is possible. It can be done. I have done it. I have a computer science degree from Thomas Edison State University. I was able to accomplish it during the pandemic. You know, I found out about ACE credits. Um, I used many resources. You know, there's some great people over on Degree Forum. Uh, you'll find some great resources, you know, on Reddit, uh, great resources on YouTube. Um, just WGU groups are fantastic. You know, I recommend going to those. Um, you know, when I was doing courses there, uh, you have so much help, you know, like there are so many people willing to help you and give you hints for certain courses. The thing is, if you do use like a school like Thomas Edison, you're not going to have almost like no support. Uh, whereas WGU just has a huge support system. Also, if you're wondering what I'm doing now, I did get accepted into Georgia Tech's master degree program uh, in computer science. So I'm on my first course of that, which is human computer interaction. And it is a very tough program, but it just shows you if you go to these degrees are legitimate. These degrees are, they are hard to get. You can get them fast. You can get them for low cost, but they're still hard, hard to get, but they are legitimate degrees that will get you into legitimate master degree programs. So uh, every WGU degree is an automatic 3.0, no higher, no lower. Uh, as for Thomas Edison, you'll just get a normal GPA or any other partner school will be a normal GPA as far as I'm aware of. But these, these degrees can get you into master's programs. I've heard of many WGU degrees getting into Georgia, um, Georgia Tech and many other schools. So they are good to get into further education as well. These are not just bachelor degrees that, you know, other schools won't let you into their graduate uh, graduate program. They will let you in. Um, you know, these degrees are very useful. I've seen many people get a job with them. I've seen many people become a software engineer with a WGU degree, uh, with a Thomas Edison degree. You can just go on LinkedIn and type in WGU computer science, uh, Thomas Edison computer science, and you will find many people with software engineer jobs. So. It's a legitimate bachelor degree. You can get it fast. You can get it in a year, uh, completely accredited. So I recommend this to everybody. You know, I, one of the reasons I never went to school in my, um, twenties was I didn't want to spend all that money. 
You know, I did not want to be $60,000 in debt. I don't like debt, you know, so that I, I never went to college except for some junior college classes back in the day. So I really do recommend this avenue for everyone. If you are in a rut in your life or you just want to accomplish something, you know, look this up. Even if you think coding is boring, there are other degrees on WGU you can get. There are many business degrees, accounting, finance. There are other degree avenues you can take. I will always recommend tech because that's where the money is. Obviously, if you don't find coding all that exciting, you know, there are other avenues in the computer science realm. Also, like I said, you can always try to find pleasure in doing it. You know, code something that's a hobby of yours, make it fun. You know, like I said, you can get a six figure job starting uh, regarding a computer science degree, especially in California. So I recommend that you take a look at it. Uh, give it a try. See if you like it. Take the study.com courses and do the computer science ones and see if like, hey, I actually kind of like this. And that, that's how I was, too. I took some of the computer science courses at study.com. I'm like, wow, I actually kind of like this. You know, this is this is actually fun. So, you know, and I stuck to it. It became an addiction. These courses, what I like about these ACE credit courses is they become kind of an addiction. You know, like you just want to complete one after another, after another, after another. You know, they only take, if you have a lot of time, they only take two to four days. If you don't have a lot of time, they take more like seven to 14 days each. But you can complete them fast. And it's like an addiction just completing one after another. And all of a sudden you have 90 credits, 90 college credits that are transferable to a real university. So like I said, take a look in it. I, I have the spreadsheet below. Uh, of a few different degrees you can transfer courses into uh, WGU. I believe below I have the finance degree, software engineering degree, and the computer science degree. I will go over all these degrees in the future. Uh, I will walk you through each course on study.com and I will walk you through the entire degree curriculum from WGU. I will also make a, a spreadsheet for Thomas Edison in the future as well in case WGU is not up your alley. So I will have that spreadsheet out in the future too and make a video on that uh, curriculum. So, but anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This was my first YouTube video ever, so uh, bear with me here. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have a great month. Uh, hopefully I'll make another video in the next couple of weeks or sooner than that. So I wanna be consistent with this. I'm trying to make YouTube my, you know, my next hobby and stick with it. So anyways, guys, have a great day. Peace.